Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the pure white ROM for the Nexus 5, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the pure white ROM is uh, basically it's a stock based ROM with a white all in all white theme which is really really beautiful now let's get to the ROM first of all what you would see here is the normal marshmallow ro uh, lock screen which is pretty awesome I mean this is as box stock as you can get on any custom ROM so yeah uh, you can see the um, navigation box is uh, uh, is uh, themed and all the uh, almost all the applications are themed so you do have all of these which are themed and the clock is different all of that is different uh, you can actually read about this stuff in the forum post rather than me bl blurting about all of that so yeah let's go to the settings and uh, see what else this has uh, in the about phone page you can see that it is android 5 point, uh, android 6.0 that is the latest marshmallow rom which is pretty awesome to begin with and uh, it has the latest november 2015 patches so that is also really cool and you can see it in the build number it is it says pure white so that is the rom which is this one so pretty nice now in the extra settings, there aren't many extra settings other than maybe uh, the ambient display enabled and stuff like that. Uh, there aren't much stuff here which is enabled. So basically you do have the uh, ambient display enabled. So you do have ambient display which is pretty awesome uh, for those who want to use it. I personally do not because it is an LCD screen rather than AMOLED display. So yeah, uh, enough of a tangent on that. Uh, other stuff like uh, well, pulse notification light. Notification light does work out with a custom kernel. So I believe this also supports that. So yeah, it is available. So that's really nice to have. Um, uh, rest everything is pretty much same so I, I'm not going to talk too much about the settings in this one because well yeah this one does have the G apps in build so you don't you will not be able to uh, you will not be needing to go out of your way to find a G apps package which is working so that is ultimately very very awesome so that's very really nice it does have system UI tuner where you can change all of that I have actually enabled that by long pressing the settings key um, you do have one extra tile which you may or may not want to use so you can actually do a lot of stuff with this one and uh, yeah I guess that should work uh, from other stuff basically as I've said in the settings menu there are many things which you need to know about this ROM so that is really cool uh, let's go to the applications now uh, in the application you do have an uh, audio effects this is from the latest CyanogenMod 13 repository so you do have the latest version of that you can actually change all of that and this is one of the good ways you can change the volume of your well change the effect of your sounds and your music experience with it so that's really nice it does have the stock uh, Android um, browser which is really nice to have so yeah basically basic browser you do have calculator you do have calendar and uh, this is really nice this is the science more calendar which is uh, pretty awesome I mean yeah I kind of miss the month wise view of everything else uh, of the Google calendar which was there so yeah uh, the clock is the chrono clock which is in the science and more sources so it is available so it is digital and stuff like that it's pretty nice I mean it is available here so yeah the camera is something which I want to talk about because there are a lot of really really awesome stuff you can do with the camera I mean this is probably the first time I'm seeing such a diverse camera application on a custom ROM so that is really cool this is just a normal one uh, normal camera application you do have um, stuff like uh, video capture manual mode well manual mode it's cool it's really awesome I mean you do have ISO correction you can actually change the ISO but I don't know why high ISO is giving me dark images. Well, if I if I look at uh, the my uh, lighting solution, yeah, it will show something. But high ISO is giving me problems here, so I'm not really sure if this works. Auto mode works, so yeah. Uh, the um, the uh, well, this is the um, whatever it is white balance mode, so you can actually change that. Uh, it is available. Auto is seems to work. Um, this one though this one is really cool I mean the shutter speed can be controlled in here so that is really really awesome you do have a control for the shutter speed it does work and uh, that is something which I really really appreciated in this one uh, auto mode does work but for people who are tinkerers this is a really really cool feature to have so yeah you also have the uh, exposure control uh, the uh, focus control so you can actually control it from uh, infinity to whatever it is so 
I couldn't really get a lot of uh, depth of field in this one but it is available and it should work I'm not really sure why this is not getting uh, working for me basically but uh, it is something which is there so yeah panorama is there now slow motion capture this is the first time I'm seeing slow motion caption in a uh, application formed camera so we, this is available and um, it does actually record in slow-mo so I'm going to just do this one and I'm going to show you guys this uh, video clip which is slow motion recorded so you can see this is not the fastest one it's probably 30 fps being slowed down so I'm not really sure I don't think there is a application which can do um, full 60 fps or 120 fps which uh, can do that now I selection time lapse. Now time lapse is also really really awesome. You can just do this and this will be ultra fast. So basically those who know what these modes are, uh, I mean yeah this whatever I'm talking about is gibberish. So yeah just so you guys know. Uh, photos. Now in the photos options you do have a few extra stuff like beauty mode and clear image mode which you can use for your advantage in many of the situations. In the settings menu you can select the megapixels which you want to use. You can actually use the 7 megapixel or 2 megapixel camera off the front so you can also have that same location uh, shutter sound all of that can be selected from here there's no HDR mode which I was quite uh, shocked to not see so I'm not really sure why that is but uh, it was not there so yeah the gallery application is AOSP so you do have AOSP gallery application so that would be nice to have the music is something called the 11 music application which is coming uh, on a lot of uh, custom ROMs nowadays so yeah that is also there pretty nice to have other than that what is this ROM this is a very very basic ROM with a themed setting menu now it is uh, this can be used with expose module well I was recently made aware that there are uh, expose module for marshmallow available right now and um, well there are a few patches which will uh, make it so that it does not conflict with the expose modules installed in the phone uh, with the theme so you can actually flash those and get some things worth of it so that's really nice to have so yeah just for your information uh, boot animation is just the marshmallow boot animation with the four things turning into Android. That is just it. I'll show you guys the uh, Antutu benchmark score, which is basic. So, yeah. So guys, just as expected, the N22 benchmark score was not able to complete completely. I mean, uh, the 3D score was uh, left out, which uh, at the final it gave me about 18,000, which is a pretty respectable score for what it is. So yeah, I guess that much is it. Uh, apart from that, I guess that much is it about the ROM. I mean, okay, this is a themed ROM. It's a white themed ROM. You can get that from the uh, status bar icons and all that. Uh, so that is pretty much it about the ROM. There's nothing, there's no much uh, bells or whistles available or stuff like that. It does support layers which is, well, it's not a feature anymore because all the Marshmallow ROMs support layers. So yeah, just uh, wanted to throw that out there. Now, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, these are becoming quite mundane right now. A lot of ROMs are coming out and uh, most of them are just plain simple. And a lot of people are going to like it for their own personal usage. So yeah, this is more of a overview of this ROM, which was called the Pure White ROM, available for the Nexus 5. So I guess that much is it about the video. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.